Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today is um, August the tenth on Wednesday, and um, and I want to share a video. Well, I'll share a topic on "Don't Let Sin Conquer You," <clears throat> and I'm gonna be reading a few uh, a few verses here, starting Romans. Chapter 6, Romans chapter 6. Verse uh, 23 reads, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of eternal life. Sorry, but that's all over. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. First uh, Corinthians chapter ten, uh, verse thirteen. No temptation has taken you except what is common to men. God is faithful, and he will not permit you to be tempted above what you can endure, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that you may be able to bear it. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, verse, six, verse 16. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Okay? Lastly, for not least, uh, 1 John. One of my favorite books of the Bible. First John chapter one verse nine. If if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins. So to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. First uh, John chapter three verse nine. <clears throat> Whoever has been born of God does not practice sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot keep on sinning because he is because he has been born of God. See that there. Lastly, first John chapter five, verse four. I see, number three, three and four. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is born of God overcomes the world, and the victory that overcomes the world is our faith. Okay. So we know the scripture. The first thing I want to say is that um, <clears throat> is that having a relationship with God is a commitment, like how marriage are committed uh, or commitment. Same thing with our relationship with God. We are you no, know, we are the bride; He is the bridegroom, in that we. Had to abide in Christ, and then what John is saying is that if you, if you really want to, you know, uh, live your life to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ, we got to stop sinning, stop practicing sinning, and and to and to acknowledge the truth of His Word. 
Yes, we can fall. We 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 short we we fall short from the glory of God. But that does not a a is not doesn't mean that we keep on sinning. No. Our jobs as born again uh, born again uh, kingdom man or kingdom woman is to is to is to strive to that narrow way. Is to is to walk by the spirit of God and not by our flesh. But we must be strong to overcome, you know, to overcome the things of this world. That's right. That's why First John is my favorite uh, book to read, because it, it it allows me to see that the the, the importance of walking with God. And then how will you know it, it impact in our culture? It's not gonna be easy, but don't let sin conquer you. Don't let sin have a foot in your heart. Walk by the Spirit of God, as as Paul said in Galatians chapter five verse sixteen. And erase anything that that you have a you know have have a fleshly desire, and remember in Galatians chapter five, the same chap the, the same chapter, later on in verses uh, I think twenty two through twenty four that talked about the 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 fruit of the flesh versus the fruit of the spirit, and those who practice sin has a fruit. Of the flesh. Am I correct? And number two. Is that we. We must learn. How to walk in the spirit. And having a desire. To serve God. See. My. My. My goals. And my motives. Doesn't. Doesn't reflect. On the worldly system. My goals. And my purpose on earth. Is to glorify. The, the, the name of Jesus on this earth and to proclaim his kingdom on this earth and teaching and making disciples about the kingdom of God and how to live a life in holiness and righteousness walking walking with the Lord like never before. See, the church is all about entertainment, but we are about equipping the saints. We are about to 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 destroy the works of the devil, amen. Because it's it's time for us to wake up, y'all. It's time for us to wake up and, and understand that the enemy is trying to destroy us. But the choice is gonna be yours. As as Joshua was said. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Are you gonna serve God or are you gonna serve your flesh? Because you can't serve both. As Jesus said, that you cannot serve manna and God at the same time. Even if even if I be wealthy today, I will always glorify the name of Jesus. Glorify Jesus Christ, and and my wealth is not gonna hinder me from seeking the Lord Jesus Christ morning and evening. And I don't care what you say to me. You know I will serve the Lord strongly, and I pray that the anointing of the Holy Ghost be upon me. Even though they're there, you know, even though I'm still in a self-deliverance process, God began to use me in a mighty way to continue to spread the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So, that's all I got today, folks. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. And uh, make sure you sh make sure you show some support with my uh, fishing videos, you know, and and fishing short uh, short videos and stuff like that. I'm trying to get some content out there for you guys and and just and just 
<clears throat> not only this challenge is going to be like uh, wildlife fishing and also some, you know, just just spreading the gospel and, 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 and the word of God, basically. Amen. So may God bless you. May God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.